Welcome back to Breaking Borderlands. In our last episode, we went through the Obsidian Forest. Um, I took some time to do some farming. Uh, because if you can loot Splode with the Schluter on the Laser Dactyl, just kill one of his, you know, ads first. Or, uh, any of the hunts there really just get an ad beforehand because you can just run a chain of three of them uh, like I had shown the three that we uh, took out along the way. It's very easy for them to get uh, drops on other things. Now the laser doctor gave me two light shows. Um, my mother too, I had gotten there previous. I just pulled it in my inventory because it's fun to play with. Um, but he also gave me a beacon, which don't get me wrong, the Nova's not that great, but the Nova does um, explode with the gamma burst when it's active. So you get a little extra radiation damage on top of either the corrosive or the shock, depending on what you're on. But yeah, reloading it triggers a Nova. It, it's a nice gimmick. I also re-rolled on my messy breakup and came away with uh, action skill and cooldown rate. So that gives me that option, because really if I need the damage or the crits, I can go elsewhere. But... I'm just going to run with these for a minute just to have fun. You know, a few pistols and a SMG. But we need to meet up with Juno now. And she's on the blast planes. Now, if you go to the Obsidian Forest and leave out the uh, front of that, you're a little bit closer to her, but it's no big deal one way or the other. Uh, if you do it this way, just make sure you don't go down because the respawn point will be all the way back next to the vestige. But once we get through the facility, which is going to be, this is going to be a long video. Um, it's, it's quite expansive. There's a few side hunts I like to take care of. But mind you, pretty much any one, when you have the loot explosion going for you, um, pretty much any one of the bounties or the uh, the hides for the tannery can spawn any of the drops. Um, I even went back and did core mash a few times. Sadly, did not get a stone thrower um, with my anointment. But I did find out you can get them in a masher. It just wasn't up to par for me. Stone throw is interesting because critical hits will pierce and body shots will uh, ricochet. So with our build and with me having the masher, you know, two of them would pierce through of them, two of them would ricochet when I hit him in the body. But then all four would go through his face. It it's kind of gimmicky. Wasn't too much of a fan testing it out, but. It is an option. Oh, come on. Why? Yeah, why is... I need a different front end, I guess. But now we just need to go meet Juno at the front of the facility. Oh, sorry for my sniffles. I swear this cold is going to leave me eventually. Or the cold left me and my allergies kicked in. I, I don't know anymore. Now there's going to be... Area you need to clear. Now again, the beacon is best to be used close range just because you can get up on somebody and... Nova. But it's decent in just uh, fire rate and power itself, especially if you have a uh, splash boost... But, again, best used if nearby. Still the light show. Just because it's a, it's a miniature elemental monarch. They all, they come in different elements. I don't know if you can get it in non-elemental, actually, but... The two I ended up getting... ...were corrosive and cryo. But the one thing that's really good about the light show is for having multiple pellets, it still only costs one ammo. 
so it's still you know easy to conserve if you need to and of course we also have the chance to add ammo back into the clip so it's a little bit of a clip extension so now we're getting our echo upgraded to the telezapper network so if you were wondering what these things were doing that's what they were for we're gonna get loaded in and if you haven't noticed I did uh, I did customize whenever we uh, respect for our final build here so now these should activate No, where's because I do like the uh, the mother too um, I think I've shown it off as well in DLC 1 because I got confused thinking it was an arms race weapon so I apologize I'm only human I make mistakes but it is one of my personal favorites just because I've always wanted to make the drone build but <sighs> that has so many applications because do you mean like the gun drones like a turbo 10 gallon and the OPQ system or you mean specifically just drones like from the hive uh, launcher that I really should go farm one of and the mother two or the messy breakup so the actual little sphere drones either way so many builds that you could possibly make uh, personally I am waiting and have been saving up weaponry for quite some time now um, URAD used to be a whole lot stronger before they nerfed it for balancing and I used to have a nerve uh, I used to have a URAD Mose build but sadly I didn't have the save on backup and my hard drive got corrupted so my original characters all got that was a let's see that was a um, speed kill Zane that was a heal bot Atlas exclusive flak that was an, a recursion Amara and then my U Radmos. Good times, good times. All right, so. The thing I like about the Mother 2 is that it's the uh, laser weapon for TDOR. And then it does that dr laser drone. So, super awesome. Um, I don't know. I think the drone doesn't pick up on radiation damage. I don't think that that beam does radiation as per the anointment. But... You can still end up stacking so many different damages. And again, with our drones critting, the aura of our pet critting, our critical hits, we can get so much more extension out of a clip. Now, very important uh, tanning hunt here. Do I have fire? I don't have fire in any way. Alright, I got a whole lot of corrosive though, don't I? Wait a second, I have shock. Now the beautiful thing about shock is there's very few things that'll resist it when it comes to a normal health bar. It's one of the reasons I went with shock on my messy breakup, that and I got a good roll on reflect and absorb. So... Now, why this guy's important is because he drops... Not that. He drops the flipper. And the flipper is on my list of things I would like to acquire. But we're going to just leave the ads to our pet. So now we're going to move on. Um, the way the flipper works, it's a Wallawan SMG. It can come in two different flavors of element. But as you hold the trigger down, more pellets are added up to nine pellets. So I'm going to run over here just because there's a chest. So, let's get ourselves a kill, and then shloot the chest, see if it doesn't drop us anything good. That's the spirit. Eh. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, that's just something entertaining about uh, radiation explosions for me. Now, if ever you switch weapons while the Gamma Burst is out, your weapon might not pick up on that Gamma Damage. So you'd need to invoke it again. And luckily now we've got that action skill cooldown. But as long as you don't switch weapons even while it's on cooldown, you'll still have some radiation damage in the background. I think it lasts for a few seconds after, but it's still very easy to keep that radiation damage going. And dousing rod. What do you do? What are you? What is this? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, it's down there somewhere. Let me take a look. Um, okay, well, I've got enough corrosive damage. Let me... My grenade launcher's got quite some capacity. Um, now let me take a look at my map here. This is a whole contained area mission if you'd like to do it. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I just hate how long it takes to go and find everything to do the meat man and such. Hey, just don't ask. Just go, go enjoy. All right, so let's see how potent you are. Oh, I stink. D is that a triple? Yeah, because Two Fang just made it four. Is that a triple launcher? So th is, I think that's the only thing that's awesome about the dousing rod. So otherwise, it seems to perform like any other Vladoff rifle. Yeah, no, the rifle's actually quite terrible, but this thing, there's three. And that was the barrel. Now, if I gave this radiation damage, that, especially since the critical hits are filling our... <laughs> yeah, no, I can see this being uh, vicious, but just for the grenade launcher. And I'm not huge on grenade launchers, so I'm not going to farm it. But, yeah. That off. But then on top of it. And it can be rapid fired. So I don't know if you were looking for some kind of an explosive build. I think I have this with the next two mags. So... Technically, because it's refilling, you just get the next two mags for the maximum uh, two-minute benefit. If you could keep it. And the fact that there's multiple pellets, yeah, it, that worked out rather well. Yeah, and that just... Smooth firing, accurate. I actually got good handling for a Vladolf assault rifle. Ah! Six out of ten, I'd recommend. So yeah, there's the weapon exploration for the day. Because again, I haven't... I have not played enough of this game. I've played plenty, but I haven't played enough of the DLCs. Let's put it that way. I broke the base game and then was like, ha, I'm good. Especially since, you know, I just lost my everything to a data glitch. You can see I was a bit salty. So yeah, no, the beam did not pick up on... Well, maybe it's because... What about that beam? Yeah, so the beam's not picking up on it. That's the aura doing it. Okay. So time to get inside. Ooh, can I make it before the loot explosion leaves? Apparently not. And Rose has blocked us. Always one step behind, aren't you? Now, if you head up there to the top, there's a Sato's journal, but we're just going to come down here and. Little luck? No luck at all. So now that we're inside, welcome to the facility.
I just think it's fun to watch. Throw a few of these out. And, it's, and even as a normal weapon, it still functions rather well, especially with that gamma burst to double up on the elemental damages. Now, if you ever wanted to technically do more damage but get less criticals for clip filling, then uh, you can take away the fire rate you get from the jabber and replace it with the scorcher spider ant. Yeah, spider ant scorcher. Because you'll then you'll get that elemental damage boost. Which, it's only 10%, but the fact you're already doing an elemental damage, not to mention our damage potential uh, is the atom bomb artifact prefix. So if you're trying to get as much damage out of that radiation as you can, there you go. Here, catch. Alright, I'm gonna speed past some of these devil riders. Cause I just wanna get to... He can feel it in his bones. So you can see the waypoint is telling us to go elsewhere, but one of the bounties is here. I do believe this is the one that has the beacon, and he will come out... I'm not sure where he's at. There he is. Yep, there you go. So, if you were going on a whole Nova bend with the, uh, you got the action skill, and then there's also fade away for Flack. Whenever he exits, he does a big Nova. Whenever he exits, fade away is an anointment for him. So, if you were going for some kind of a Flack Nova build, there you go. Um, the teleporter's in there, just teleports you around that room. But, here's the respawn point if you were looking to farm him. There's some backstory on Rose. And now we get to sit here and watch uh, Jacob's plans for the future. So everybody's got skeletons in the closet. Here's Jacobs. They basically did what Jack did with Iridium on this planet. Okay, so I'll just uh, give an example on some weaponry to look out for and show how the Schluter can really affect I'm good on that. Can really affect on drop rates. I'm going to go back to our tried and true method. Don't really need to be running Schluter anymore. Get some kills faster this way. Alright. So this part um, you can get some backstory on how Juno knew Aletta. So just jump through here. And then over there's the echo for it. But, you're just coming over. 
past this spawn point. Uh, now, give me a moment. I don't want to get lost in here. I'm trying to remember if there was. No, not what I wanted. Oh, come on, turn it off. And then... Is that it? Or did I just... I think I just walk up there and... Nope. Because then you come over here. There's another one. And it's a cache. I don't remember exactly how to get those caches open. How is this... The whole thing got froze. Alright, so... Moving forward. Here's a few things. There's a, another self-contained mission for the dandy hiding here in the corner. If you wish to do it. But we're going to come to the teller zapper here. Find that missing movie scene the feller had said something about earlier. And then you can open the door and run through again. Or tell us that back. Alright, so now when you enter this room, you're going to want to jump down here onto this ledge. Activate that door. Jump back up through here. Come to this side of everything and hit the breezer. Through the telezapper. And now not only do you have a, prox a prospector's stash, Thunderball Fist, but now you have a sniper's nest. But from here, you're trying to get to yes, that platform. So there's several ways to get over here, bully a gimmick of mine. Alright, and then onward we go. And then when you're up here, you can hop off. Make sure you get your respawn. And then run on through. Now you're gonna wanna come this way. And bust through there, another telezapper. And now you can see we've gone off from this area to this one now. This is an important area. Because if you want one of the best pistols in the game, you want it from here and Caber Dow. Now he has a chance to drop the unkempt herald. Yep. And it's a uh, interesting pistol because it has the fan shape. Any of you BL2 players know exactly what this gun is and what it can do. And you can see he's got those multiple projectiles. So you're big on a splash build. Me, I need it with some radiation damage. 
and it can come, I do believe, in all the flavors. Um, and it's Torg, so it's explosive. That's not what I'm looking for. It's good, but... Yeah. And then again, the spawn point's right here, so it's an easy farm, you know, especially with the right setup. Snipe him out, don't even worry about anybody else. But I highly suggest an Unkempt Herald, 8 out of 10 would recommend. I didn't even know that that was down here, so I'm just going to investigate. So... Now hit the Breezer. And then continue on the road. Two stop rows. Alright, so grab anything you need gear-wise, and get ready. You see these? Those are bombs. So, yeah, pretty big booms that Rose is trying to be in control of. Now this is an interesting engagement coming up for this boss fight. Technically, there's two of them, and you're going to have to ignore the big scary one. So, Quartermaster and Oaken Wolf. So, when you take his shield out, then you can take out his turret. The Wolf, if you do it right, you can keep him locked down. But only if you do it right. And Quartermaster will switch his position. So just be prepared for that. And then whenever you get him low enough in health, he will go over... and try and get into the Oaken Wolf, but if you get him locked down, he can't do it. Alright. He loot exploded, I don't even have the shooter on. Then Oaken Wolf never really drops anything. What the barrel? Oh, come on. Did you go down? Are you kidding me? You were standing in the... Uh, I thought I was saved. But yeah, if you can see, since I'm going with the whole theme of gamma radiation, I've, I've changed my scheme to be, you know, glowing. And besides, I, I believe me to be broken at this point in time, just because you shouldn't be able to use rocket launchers like this. We... Alright. So let's go check our spoils. Miscreant. What in the world is a miscreant? Why waste time shoot lot gun with few gun do trick? Your English is terrible. Big fan of the company name. And a satisfaction. Uh, this is personally one of my favorites. Ooh, it's got an extra pellet too. Yeah, one of my personal favorites, um, but I'll just pull mine out of my bank now that I've come across one. That is nice, though. Now, if you're fast enough, you can uh, run the Schluter, and then there's a chest here and a red chest there, which luck be with me. And a breeder. Yeah, so now... Remember those bombs I showed earlier? They're teleporting it to orbit. You can... Uh, I guess you can see where this is going now. Gravity's just gonna pull it down on top of its target. So now, run out onto the catwalk. 
that the explosion broke the window, hit the telezapper. And watch the fireworks. So close. A wound like a hen I hadn't felt in generations. Ruby was here. And now I don't remember what is unique about this shotgun. That we just won from doing that. Yeah, I'm not sure what the splinter's good with. But, now you own one. So. Yep, we were not fast enough. We didn't get there in time. <laughs> but that's okay. So now, we're just waiting for her call us back to vestige and that's what we're gonna go do but hopefully you found this informative and entertaining and I will catch you in the next one peace